So to create a development store, what you want to do is navigate to your browser and then navigate to Shopify partner. And you guys will see that it says become a Shopify partner today. Click on that. And what you want to do is join here. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask you, what's the main way you plan to use Shopify? So what I'll say is simply building new Shopify store for clients and click next. Then I want to go ahead and select where my business is located. I'm going to set it up as Texas. From here, you want to go ahead and enter your business name. I'm going to go ahead and put Kalman Web Design since this is really just going to be a trial. And then I'll go ahead and enter the rest of the information here and then move on to submitting it. Once you complete those steps, it's going to take you into where it says Shopify Partners. And from here, you're going to need to go ahead and make sure that you verify your email address. So right here, you should receive an email from Shopify Partners. Go ahead and click on this and simply verify your email address. Your business email is now verified. Now it'll take you to your Shopify Partners dashboard. And from here, it'll provide you with a quick guide to get up and running with a development store. But for now, we're going to go ahead and skip all of these steps. What we want to do is navigate to where it says stores. Here is where you'll be able to create all of your development stores, as you guys can see here. And you can also request access to a store managed by a client here. For this video, we'll select create a development store. From here, it'll ask you what the purpose of this store is. We're going to say create a store for a client. Here, we're going to go ahead and create our store name, and we're just going to create something generic. We'll call it Spoofy Sports. And you guys can see once you enter the name of the business that you're creating this website for, it creates a free URL. And this is going to be a subdomain. That's why it says myshopify.com here at the end. But to prevent any hyphens or anything like this, what you can do is go ahead and make this one word and it will now be a one word domain of Spoofy Sports. Next, you're going to have to select how your client is going to sell their products or if you're going to transfer this website to yourself eventually how you're going to sell your products. So for now, I'm just going to say online here. And now we're going to say that no, we are not currently selling through another platform and then create development store. Now it'll take a second to create your new store. Now, once you create your store, what you guys need to realize is that it takes you to a new page for your newly created storefront. And you guys can see the difference in the top left. It doesn't say Shopify partner anymore. It simply says Shopify. And in the top right, it says the name of our store. From here, if you need to go back to the Shopify partner page, you can simply navigate back to it like so. And you can always log back into this page if you guys need to get back here. But for now, what we want to do is I want to go ahead and navigate to where it says online store. Here is where you're going to spend a lot of your time. And you guys are going to notice as soon as I click on that, it takes me to themes. In this page, it will let you change your theme or customize your theme. And right off the bat, Shopify always starts you off with the default theme of Dawn. So to view this newly created store, click on view your store in the top right. From here, it takes you to your own custom store URL. And keep in mind, this is the free URL that Shopify will provide you with until you upgrade and pay for a custom domain. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a moment. But what I want you guys to realize is that since you are logged into your Shopify website, you can see this website. But if we go ahead and open a different browser, paste in our URL here and go ahead and hit enter, you're going to see that it is guarded by a password. And this is going to be because it's a development store. So to get that password and actually be able to enter this store, like if you're sending this to somebody and it's not you trying to get into it, what you need to do is navigate back to your Shopify dashboard for this particular storefront, navigate down to where it says preferences, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says restrict store access, 
go ahead and copy this password and you can always change this to whatever you want. Go back over here, paste that password in, hit enter. And now you guys can see that you are in the live storefront. And again, this simply happens because your online store is in development. So until you transfer this store to a client or possibly yourself on a different account and pay for the full service, this will be restricted by a password. Tap here to see what happens next.